You know what guys, I remember quite well the moment when I said that I wasn't sure if this Korean Food Festival special event would be something worth to look at back when the patch notes were, you know, somewhat leaked, but a couple of days after its release I have to admit that it's quite good for a huge amount of player, except for me, but not because the event is any bad, because I will check it out in a second, but because I have all the cards included within this special event maxed out already, which doesn't mean that the event itself is less worthy of recognition, because as I'm about to explain to you all guys, I do really think that this is the right path all the special events should more or less follow in order to make the game more attractive for all kind of new players. So let's get into it. But stop, hey, 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 before I forget about it, I'm here to remind you all guys that tomorrow I will be doing a live stream where I will be maxing out the new Frank Hivento as funny, as well as I will be doing the 10,000 tokens giveaway I began a few days ago, so you are still on time to participate on it, and if you are watching this video once the giveaway took place already, I still encourage you to subscribe to my channel in order to not to miss, first of all, anything new regarding to Asphalt 9, and of course, none of the giveaways I will be trying to make in the future. But now let's go back to the main topic. Okay, so first of all, the thing that calls the most of my attention is the decals which are related to this special event, because two of them can be obtained from special offers, this is basically spending real money, but the third one, which belongs to the Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport, can be obtained by everyone completely for free from the special event progression rewards, which is a nice encouragement for people like me, who, you know, have all these card max, or maybe almost max, to play this special event. But don't get me wrong, it's not an extremely easy special event, especially for newcomers since it asks for cars that despite are not extremely rare to find aside from maybe you know the main car which is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS most of the other cars are not as common as you may think it's been a while since I don't see for example the Renault RS01 uh, and now you can get its key if you have it at 5 stars, as well as the 4GT MK2, which is quite funny considering how you have a car hunt right now, where you can actually get the key of the 4GT MK2 if you get all the blueprints to max the car before, so one way or another you will have the chance to get the car if you decide to go for it, either from the special event or from the car hunt. Aside from this, on this special event we can see a bunch of other cars which already appear on car hunts like the Puritalia Berlinetta, the Corvette Stingray, and so on. It's not a hard event by any means for intermediate players onwards, but as I said, if you haven't been playing this game for maybe the last year and a half or so, I think you will end up stuck at some point of this special event. But for all those who won't get stuck, I would definitely recommend to you all to get as many epic import parts from the Porsche 911 GT3 RS as possible, because the GT3 RS is probably one of the best cars of the entire B-Class, with a super B acceleration and drift radius, as well as some massive nitrificency. This car can definitely help you a ton of multiplayer and the clash alike and also is extremely easy to dominate so it's a must you should definitely get for your garage. I also realized that there are epic import parts from all the other cars required on this special event, so well, on this video you will be seeing some races with the Puritalia Berlinetta as well, and I can tell you that it's a quite nice, not necessarily better than the GT3 RS, but it's a quite useful car for multiplayer as well. The main reason of why do I think that this event is great is, first of all, because of the cars required, but something else that I'm sure that should be considered is the rewards we can get from this special event as well, because the tokens reward are not bad in basically all these stages, so you can get a nice amount of tokens just for playing with cars that you already have in many cases, and it's true that the Renault RS01 isn't that common, but it was, you know, a Grand Prix car at the end, so it shouldn't be that insanely hard to go over through this event. And well, you know, at the end all these special events must have a component of difficulty, I guess, so it was hard to think that absolutely all the requirements would be extremely easy cars to come by. And well, at this point I think it should be asking, I mean, did anyone expect this collaboration? I mean, it's not bad, it's just that it's something I didn't expect to see on Asphalt 9 Legends, considering that as far as I'm aware, and I could be wrong here, there aren't any South Korean cars in the game, as far as I know. It's not a concern by any means, it's just something curious and well, at the end of the day we are getting free rewards as a result of this collaboration, so I have absolutely nothing bad to see about it. I just brought this up because on the last roadmap game not release about the upcoming Asphalt 9 updates, they say they will be bringing collaborations we wouldn't expect, and I guess that this Korean Food Festival event is one of them, so yeah, I can't say they didn't surprise me because they actually did with this collaboration, you know? In a nutshell, I would say that this one is one of those events where I would recommend you all guys to spend some tokens on, 
but not that much into the required cars multipacks, but instead on those packs featuring the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which by the way will also give you the chance to get blueprints for the Renault RS01. So if you have absolutely zero blueprints of the GT3 RS, you could actually unlock it and maybe even get the Renault as a side gift, considering that, as I told you already, you can get the key from this special event as well. But as I always say, it's up to you guys. Because let's remember that this summer we are expected to get a bars of speed special event, so maybe it's more worth it for you guys to save up token even if that means to skip the chance to get the Porsche 911 GT3 RS, which despite it's really good, you won't die if you don't unlock it this time. So that was pretty much all what I wanted to say regarding this uh, quite unexpected collaboration, as it is the South Korean Food uh, Festival special event, which I hope you all guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts about this event on the comment section, make sure to drop your like, and subscribe in order to not to miss absolutely anything about Asphalt Night Legends. And I will see you really soon, as usual, with much more content. Goodbye, guys.